Today I'm going to show you how to make a steampunk ring. And rings like this are selling on Etsy. I've seen them priced anywhere from $28 to $55. But I'm going to show you how to make one for under $10 and in under 10 minutes. So, here we go. You will need a jeweler's anvil or something you can use that has a slightly flat surface right here. This is called a horn and you're going to want to be able to hammer uh, part of your filigree ring base on that horn. You will also need possibly these little teeny tiny screwdrivers which are watchmakers screwdrivers and I bought mine on eBay. I think they were about eleven dollars for a set of like twelve of them. These are round tipped rosary pliers. They have wire cutters here. Um, not strictly necessary for this project, but they are they are a tool that I use all the time, so I always have it with me. E6000, that is one of the critical elements. I use these little tweezers here. These are actually pearl knotting tweezers made in India, but I will be using them for this project, and I will be using a hammer, chasing hammer. I've got two here, but it doesn't really matter what kind you use. You only use it for a few minutes. Some Swarovski crystals, Swarovski, I always say Swarovski, Swarovski crystals flat on the bottom so you can glue them to your watch face, or well, watch, not really a face, watch workings. Um, I'm using hot set crystals, I, I got them in the fabric section of a craft store, but they are Swarovski, and I don't think the hot set glue on the back makes any difference but that's what I'm using and these are the filigree ring bases you can get silver raw brass antique brass uh, I, I've seen them in other finishes as well they run about 350 to 450 each I bought mine at Ornamentia I think you can order them at ornamentia.com and the little watch internal watch workings here these are a little more tricky I bought mine on eBay I bought them in a lot um, I search for things like watchmakers lot broken watches um, watch parts I don't ever search steampunk because if somebody's selling something labeled steampunk then they have probably marked it up because they know that it's you know popular and people want it so that tends to be a little more expensive. I, I find lots of these things that are being sold from like estate sales or you know somebody's grandfather passed away and you know he left a bunch of watch parts that he used to tinker with or something and I can get them pretty cheap. I got a lot of these. I Depending on where you get them you know, they can run from like a dollar to two dollars each but sometimes you have to buy a whole bunch at one time so uh, buying them individually, I've seen places that price them anywhere from five to ten dollars. Um, anyway, so I think that's everything, and I keep some wipers around just in case the glue oozes out and I need to wipe it up. So there we go. I will start making the project. Okay, so I'm going to get a silver ring base. I'm going to put it on the flat horn, and I'm going to tap it. If you don't like the noise. You can get a pot holder, put it underneath, and you're just going to tap it. See, the noise goes away. Turn it around to the other side, because you want it to be even on both sides. You don't want to have, because this is tapered, if you don't turn it around and hammer both sides, it'll be kind of uneven and weird. There we go. And what you're doing is you're creating a flat base for your watch workings to sit on. All right. If you don't do that and you try to put the watch on to something that's curved, it's it's only. Good